1979, San Diego was a sleepy little Navy town. On April 19, 1979, I debuted on News 8. A man named Earl Shive. I'll paint the entire outfield, he said, for $39.95. Reciting poetry and sporting a beard and a perm, it was a look that made you want to say, just say no. And I wasn't the only one around here sporting facial hair and a disco look. In 1980, Leitner had sideburns and an evil twin. Uh, Ted, first of all, let me uh, thank you for taking time out from your very busy schedule to be with us. I, you should be appreciative. I don't normally do this sort of thing. In the early 80s, we were fresh young faces, covering important stories like underwater pumpkin carvings. Some of the first contestants are coming out of the water now. In 1981, while America struggled with Rubik's Cube, Brian Bilbray was having a bad hair day. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. In 1983, Susan Peters, looking a lot like Annette, was taking Kansas by storm. In the mid-80s, Graham Ledger was doing his best Wayne Newton in El Centro. Yep. It used to be the only place you could see a buffalo was on the face of a nickel. Consumer Bob was working in Fort Myers. Notice that he's the only person whose hair hasn't changed a bit. And I was still struggling with my hair. I could have done it myself with a bow and some scissors. Doug McAllister and Carol Hassan were already fixtures around here. And while America was asking, Hey, where's the beef? We added some beef. Hank Bauer, although most people remember him from his Charger playing days. Looking back, another adage comes to mind. The more things change, the more they remain the same. Hey, wait a minute. Larry Himmel, News 8.